Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm T. And T. And I'm IT Explosive One. And uh, we're going to start time. Boom. Boom. Jonas. Yes, sir. There's a lot of things that we've gotten to or are very used to in having a lot in our lives. A lot of amenities. Yeah. You know, we take them for granted a lot of times. Yes, we do. I think it's time to finally discuss a hierarchy here. So I asked you today, would you rather live in a house with no running water or with no electricity? Oh, man. Which one's more important to you? Well, I know that we went without water for a whole week. <laughs> um, a couple, a couple. I mean, like, I went over and got all sorts of water and brought it back to the house and stuff. It was like, that was really bad. But I know, like, without electricity, all of your entertainment goes away. Very true. Very true. Because, Very because true. like, yeah, I can charge my phone in my car, and yeah. I can walk on my phone, right? Yes. But, like, when it's dark and all you have is a candle, oh. that sucks a lot. And, yeah. like, yeah. not having running water is real crappy. It sucks, dude. You feel... You Dude, tell me you didn't feel like like a homeless person, and I'm not trying to dig on. Yeah, homeless, I didn't shower like, for like a week because I could couldn't have a shower. Yeah, like I couldn't, and I felt the could dirtiest I'd ever felt, dude. Could you imagine, dude? I Being almost would want to say not having running water is worse. I I, I kind of want to say that too because you're just bored. Because what? It's like being bored versus like actually in fic in, in impeding your health. Well, right, because, like, well, I mean, I guess here's the other part, though. You can't cook without electricity anyway. So if you have running water and you can't, but you can't boil water on your stove, what's it matter? I mean, you would have a gas stove, I guess. There's no You could have a gas stove. Um, it, but, no electricity means your refrigerator doesn't work, too. Right. And that just kind of sucks. So, I mean, they're both really bad. Like, those are two things that, like, yeah. people very much take for granted. Though, like, this is the thing. It's like, you could live a perfectly normal life not having electricity. Like, you could get your food elsewhere. You could get meals delivered to your house. You got DoorDash nowadays, dude. You're so, saying no one has electricity or just us? I'm saying if we didn't have electricity. Oh, ju oh just yeah. we don't? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, like, you can have food delivered. You can go. So you can still get in your car and go and get food. You could still get in your car and go to McDonald's and charge your phone or whatever. You know? Um... I mean, and then you could bring it back here and be on and be on. Uh, yeah, because I can charge my phone when, when, when you know when electricity. I've used the car to charge my phone when I haven't had electric before. Yeah, and you still can get you can still have some form of entertainment on data with uh, with your phone. You know? Yeah, I mean, ask the people in Flint, Michigan, how not having running water works out. Yeah, well, if you don't have water, you can't shower. You can't drink water. You can't clean your clothes. You can't clean your clothes, dude. That's actually going to affect your health. Can't flush your toilet. Like yeah, like like me getting food delivered is that more expensive than going to a hotel every like every week for one night or just like can you rent a hotel? I mean, and you know what you'd have to do? You'd have to go to truck stops. Oh, cause you cause you can shower at truck stops. Yeah, yeah, you have to go to truck stops yeah. or maybe get like a gym membership. Boom. Yeah, well, I think that's a that's a huge thing. A lot of people say that if you ever become temporarily homeless. Use that ten bucks to get like a Planet Fitness membership because yeah. you can go there and it's warm there. You can charge your phone there. You can shower there, and you, you can, can hang out as, and, and you can hang out as long as you want, yeah. dude. You can just they have a, they have Wi Fi there. Oh. Like so, if you have a membership, yeah, you can sit at the tables in the front. You can get. I mean, if you if you get the the plus membership, you can get in the massage chairs. You're like, oh, my back's all sore because I'm sleeping in my back seat for a week. Getting that hydro hydro shot, you can get a tan. You can be all tanned up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm homeless, but I'm saying, yo, yo. You're really, you're really, you're really talking up this model, dude. I kind of like this. I'm just this gonna live in a model. van and have a Planet Fitness membership. <laughs> That's it, yo. Know? I've, I've sold myself. I'm like, wow. If I buy an old like 1987 huh. cargo van, put a mattress in the back, get a ten dollar gym membership, no bills, boom. I'm Jonas, I hate to even bring this up, but this is actually like a really good like idea for like a business model. Just offer a place where you can like take a shower. Uh, hang out, watch some TV, charge your phone, use the Wi-Fi, charge like ten dollars a month, dude. So like couch surfing bees. Have even have like a small like a uh, B and B in the back. Yeah, or just have like rooms with just like a twin bed in it. Like it's just literally just like a bed. Yeah, well, you yeah, can like yeah. go in, lock the door, and sleep in a bed. Yeah, you, you can rent a rent a bed for like a couple hours. Not not too long. We ain't renting out rooms. We're not a hotel. We're we not a freaking we ain't Coitusville, dude. There's we're not a club coitus. med. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know, like. If uh, 
I mean, Planet Planet. I mean, a lot of gym. Planet Fitness is just the cheapest gym, I think, yeah. overall. Like, because because you but you would have to get the the membership that would let you travel, so you could go to any Planet Fitness. Mm -hmm. So that's like mm -hmm. twenty bucks a month. But you know, if you're homeless and you're spending out a bill, like twenty bucks a month ain't really a bad bill for no. shower. I mean, no. you don't have to pay the water bill or the electric bill. Yeah. See, and you a get shower a day is that? that and you get is. to work out, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. But then you just make your clothes sweaty, and where are you gonna wash them? Yeah. If you don't have you don't have a home or the money to, um, I hear that uh, truck stops are also really good for uh, for the same thing. Like they have uh, they have cheap food usually for truckers, and they definitely have like the places where truckers can like the big chains, like the Loves and oh the, uh, T and A and Flying whatever. J's and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. They have well, they have like shower rooms, they have little like mm -hmm. lounges and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff with like TVs and couches to like chill. Exactly. And then there's always a restaurant in the mm -hmm. in the thing, and then usually they, yeah, a they, buffet they, or. They, yeah, they usually sell like uh, pizzas or like you know stuff like that at the counter and stuff. So um, it's, it's inexpensive, um, not the best quality food, but it's inexpensive. No, it's, it's definitely not, and healthy. it's free yeah. to get in. It's usually free to take a shower too. Is it free? I've never taken a shower at a truck stop. I'm pretty sure it's free. Uh, if I, I know maybe it's free for truckers, free with a free with a gas maybe, purchase or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, if a trucker's going to a truck stop, they're going to fill up their tank, and yeah. then they probably come in. And, I mean, they spend a hundred bucks on gas. Yeah. I think maybe even truckers get a discount if it's not free, but I, I thought it was free. But. Yeah, I don't know, man, but I, uh, I don't know. Do you think you could live in like a van? Do you think? Do you <laughs> yes, think I would, Jonas. I've always had the dream of like getting a Winnebago and just boom. Yeah, that's kind of what I want to do too, man. It's just get like boom. a get like a. If I had a job, boom. that like. It didn't matter what time of day I did it and where I could go. I would love to just be like a transient and just like have a backpack with like my laptop and like some clothes and just I like mean, you, be sweet. You kind of could still facilitate that even with the job you have now. The job I have now is very time specific to time zone though. So if I went to like Europe, I'd have to get up at like three in the morning. I mean, so. Yeah, but also I could just like learn us like get a better skilled job like computer programming or something and then I mean I, want. I, I, I mean that's true that's true I still say is that like working from home is like it gives you so many options to do stuff like that you could just go to Europe and yeah it'd be inconvenient for you to wake up at three o'clock in the morning but nothing's stopping you from doing it right well I mean I'm not technically allowed but you know that too I mean yeah if they that found out I, they would be very not happy about it but how would they find out so they're like oh so if you work from home you have to work from home that's that's their stand but okay. home can be anywhere if I register like I could say hey I'm I'm well we used to have to be in Austin but now that COVID has happened, some of the people that were in Austin moved away. So now they're like, you can live anywhere in the country and do the job. You just have to support your people at the proper time. How do you think they would feel if you were to say, like, uh, I lost my home? I mean, however vehicle, however you want to bring it to them. But okay. Like, I lost my home. Uh, I purchased a Winnebago, and I will be traveling in that. This is my new home. I don't know if they would let that fly. I wouldn't call that working from home. They'd be like, you have to work from the Winnebago. Well, the but I mean, well, that's the what you would do. The problem is anyway. where you have to be somewhere close enough that if you have a computer issue, you can get to a corporate place. Luckily, the company I work for has offices all over the country, oh, okay. it, like in a small sense. But like, that's more their concern is like, if my computer breaks down, how can I get to a some sort of corporate facility to then get a replacement computer? I mean, you got a Winnebago. You drive there. I guess. I how, would they, how would they expect you to get there I mean, from home? They prob I probably just wouldn't tell them. Uh, I feel I mean, like they I would find rather out. ask for permission. Than, I would ask for forgiveness than permission. Because like, <laughs> cause like, here's the thing. I've always thought about this. If I did something like that and something really hit the fan where my computer broke or whatever, I could always lie and be like, hey, I had an emergency come up. I got to take off the rest of the day and then hightail it back to where I needed to get to. Yeah, or the nearest one. Yeah, exactly. The nearest one. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, but, I mean, whatever, dude. It's not, and but it's not that important to me. But, yeah, I, mean, I would like to do that. It would be nice to, like, just travel around. I feel like it would get lonely after a while, though. Lonely. Because you... You would you'd only you would never be able to make any real like you would like like it would be hard to find like a romantic partner or friends because like you'd only know them for a little bit. They're like, well, I'm off to the next city. And see, you have the personality type where I think you would have no issues like finding a meetup or finding like a, a group of people who are, you know, uh, willing to have a conversation. Yeah, probably not. But, you know, it's a lot of work. too. I struggle more with that. It's thing. a lot of social energy to do that. 
Yeah, and pre-COVID, I had all the social energy. I don't know if I'm back there yet. Yeah, I know. I'm bringing you to the dark side, dude. COVID did more than just affect our elves out oh, there. Oh, no. It made me it, – it actually, but I think it did better for me, though, dude, because I used to be such an extrovert. It was almost too much. I was always trying to be out of the house. And now, like, I don't want to be out of the house as much. But I feel like if I start doing a bunch of stuff, that might change. But I don't think I'll ever go back to that fill up every single night of the week. <laughs> because – it was a lot, dude. It was it a lot. Is, it so. can be a lot. Anyways, we're out of time. That's oh, all. Oh, yeah, but no, to finish it up, water or electricity, which one? You got to know. There's a real question. I'll on take the table. running water. I want yes, running water. I will take water, too. Yeah. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. E&T. Uh, we is out.